Yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of my scooter repair videos on my channel. If you're new to my channel, you're in the right place. This is what I make videos about scooter repairs, scooter buying advice, and all advice on electric scooter. In today's episode, I'm going to be making a video about problems of the scooter accelerator or what we call the scooter throttle and also ways to diagnose that to see if your throttle is gone or if it's anything else. Before we go deep in the video, you know, in my previous videos, I made a video about, you know, how to repair the MOSFET or the transistors on your controller. So if your controller got broken and maybe you ordered a new one, uh, before that, you know, uh, gets uh, posted to you or whatever it is, because usually you can't get it to buy straight for it. So what you can do is, uh, it might be possible to actually repair the broken controller so that way you can keep your scooter riding before the new one comes or if you already had a new one and you replace your controller which I've also made a video about controller repairs uh, it's advisable if you can repair the old one and keep it as a spare so you never know so when that happen again then that means that you got some kind of like backup you know for your scooter so if we go back and have a look um these two controllers uh, belong to the Q1, Q1 Hammer, which I've made videos about. So when I had a scooter new, this controller was the one that came in the scooter. Then uh, just a few days, you know, these things happen. It doesn't mean that, you know, uh, the company is not good or something. You know what I'm saying? As an electrical device, they can fail anytime you arrive from the factory. So uh, I was running this one fails so that I made videos about how to change this already on my channel. If you're new, you can, you know, go through my videos and watch that. And I also made a latest video on this about how to change the MOSFET or the transistors, which are this one right here. So what I did was, you know, when this broke and I took the liberty to, you know, order a new controller for my QRQ1 hammer, which is not this one. This is uh the 3260 volt 20 uh 30 watts um ultra g the qrq1 hammer uses this sort of controller so what i did was i ordered a new um a new mosfet which actually came so i got some few parts here you know uh this is a controller for uh these controllers are the, the one that goes with this i did a controller change on this i haven't made video on that because as the same procedure of the QR1. So I decided just to do that with a video. So the MOSFET in this one is which is what I'm just trying to find out. I don't even know where that is. Uh this is just a replacement part. So I mean what I'm gonna say is um this is the MOSFET. So I ordered this on uh if you go if you're looking for this MOSFET for the 48 volts 25 amp electric scooter controller it might not be q it might be just any other electrical scooter controller then you might be able to you know find that on uh, the, uh, the something the shop called the e7 something uh on the, um, uh amazon uh or you can get that on the ebay as well so when you have this uh the way to replace it i've made a video i haven't made a video replacing this because it's the same procedure that i do all the videos i made for you all the time I follow the same procedures to, you know, do the actual job. Some of them, I made a video doing it, but some of them, I don't want to be repeating the same video since people don't have too much time to be watching videos. So I just decided to like, you know, do it the way that I said, uh, it's going to be done the video. So today's video, so all these controllers now are all working now. So that I've uh, replaced the MOSFET. It's only one MOSFET broken on each of them. Then I got my multimeter, which is right here. So I got my multimeter, which is right here. So I use my multimeter to test uh, this and the new MOSFET. And then say that the new one that I'm putting is good, then I replace them. So these two controllers are now in working order. So I'm going to just keep this for spare for future. So if anything happened to my cure, I don't necessarily need to replace another one. I'm going to just put a controller in. And then if I have time, I can you know, repair the other one as well. In today's video, it's about this scooter. So if you watch my previous video on this or try G3200 watt um 60 volt 20, 30 amps uh electric scooter it might not be ultra G, it might be because we got different type of these scooters with different companies making them now. This particular one is called Ultra G. I don't know why. 
And I bought this one from South Korea. And what I believe, like I said in my other video, some of the part in there complies exactly with the Dualtron family. So it might be somebody that I used to wait for them, just break and start to do this. I don't know. But this is totally you know, not uh, the same like the one you see on other places. But then what happened is um, I was writing these things uh, some time ago. And the more got got loose. And this wire is usually, you know, uh, bind it on the side here. So the cable here hold the wire. Then they bind it inside. So when this loose, the tire grinds on this. And what happened is that my wires got exposed. And they keep touching each other. So the scooter stopped working in the first instant. So what I did was when I removed the coating from the wire, which is this one. And then check all the wires and then tape it back and put it by the scooter away. Then uh, it happened again. And this time the scooter uh, stopped working. So what happened is, each time you put a scooter on, each time you put a scooter on, this is what you're gonna be seeing. You're gonna be seeing that. I don't know. Let me just um, I'm just gonna go focus this a bit so y'all can see. Yeah. So this time you can see that sign there. That sign should be uh, a sign that comes. You know, when you ride in the scooter and you hold your brakes. That's why you're going to be seeing that sign. But you can see that the brakes are all on hold. This one is on hold as well, but the sign is there. So my first diagnosis of when you have a problem with a scooter like this, it might be worth like, you know, looking the first suspect might be the controller because usually they are the one that, you know, control the whole thing. So then I decide to have a look at a controller. So I bought a new controller. This is the old one right here, which is still good because after I change the controllers, then I realized that the problem is still the same. So when this happened, that you're riding your scooter and the scooter just stop, and it's not like one motor is working. Maybe it might be the, the front one or the back one is working. But then the scooter just stopped. The motors, both of them, you know, uh, none of them is, is turning. And that means, and it's showing this, and that means it might be your brake is stuck. So first, you got to have to check to see if your brakes are actually loose so you do this you know few times and check if nothing start within the brake and you try to check uh your brake uh calipers as well to be sure there's nothing stuck in if you did all that and it's still like that means that you got a problem and there's a three suspect i usually cause this it might be this lcd display accelerator which also got secure unit inside it might be the controller which i've already changed uh if i open this i'm gonna just open this and show you all what i'm saying so i'm gonna just pull this out because the scooter is still open so you should be fine and i usually should take it with the, the metal plate okay just go one more time the plate is this so, yeah so i got it all open now so let me just pull this here there's some tension on that as go so that chain of controller already, that's the new controller, you know, the one that just came. Uh, if I focus this, yeah, that's the one there. It's another one. I've, I've done all the change already, pack with the cables, so I don't want to bring anything up. And anyway, I made videos on this already, which is still there, so I'm not going to go too much into that. So I chain a controller, and then usually this should disappear. And then when that happen, and you see this, you see that my brake light is constantly on, even though the brakes are not being held. So usually it should be like, you know, uh, something to do with the braking. That's the first thing you should check before even thinking of buying all, all the parts that I'm going to be mentioning in this. So you got to have to, you know, check all these wires and be sure that they're okay. You know, if your wires are still new in a coating just like this and it's not grinding, then don't worry to cut through them. But if there's a grinding somewhere, then it might be worth, you know, cutting through them to see if maybe any of them grind. If you do all that like I did... I have checked all my wires, you know, and tape all of them and put them back. But then still, when that's on, I got this. So I know that it might be the controller, a faulty tail light system, or the accelerator. So what I did was the first thing is usually because these don't go bad often. You know, they might go bad, but they don't go bad often. So this might go, but on this scooter right here, I'm going to show you all. Um, since I had a scooter, I don't know if you all can see, I've done 3,430.0 uh, trip in kilometers. So that's it. So if you convert that to miles, uh, I've done 
almost about 3,000 miles on this scooter, which is amazing. You know, 3,000 miles on that before I start having this problem. That's the thing. When you buy a quality one like this, you might not have a big problem to that. So if maybe this accelerator or, or the throttle body is gone now, well, I mean, they don't have to go that much because it's not like they're doing anything. Only have electrical circuit, but it's some kind of like, you know, transistors and uh, resistors and whatever is it by you know this electrical thing it feels sometimes so um i don't know so this this might be the the problem so now what i did was um i trying to find out so i replace the controller it's not a controller so what i'm gonna do to this i'm gonna replace this whole uh, uh thing here this whole throttle body or accelerator because if i press that you see as long as that sign as long as this sign stays here the scooter is not gonna work so I'm going to be so that I have my, I ordered a few things and I just got this today, which is the new uh, throttle body. The same thing as this one. And I'm going to just replace that one and see. And when you're going to replace this one, I'm going to tell you something. If your cable is good, you don't have any problem with the cables and the holder is not, this holder is not damaged and all that. Even though you got a whole set from the, your supplier or whatever you buy in yours, it will be much easier just, you know, replacing the top and leaving the whole holder on the seat. Because if you want to replace the whole holder, you're going to have to take your brake out, the handle out, the brake out, and then slide the whole thing in. And it came with a, uh, with a cable, the extension cable. So it came like a whole set with a cable, uh, with the ends which you usually, you know, um, usually have to connect back in here but it's not necessary to do all that if all the connections already are good because if you're going to be doing that connecting the whole system that means you're going to be opening this coating finding out this accelerator throttle you know the one right here you're going to be tracing it through the cable taking all that you're going to be doing a lot of work that you don't need to do to get your screw that working you know what i'm saying so all you got to do is just follow the uh, simple full step to get that done. And you don't need anything apart from the usual alarm keys because this scooter, the basic tools you need for repairing on, uh, for this scooter is just alarm key. So I'm going to just find my alarm key. I don't even know where I put it, but then it might be somewhere here. So I got this right here. Okay. So I'm going to need where the alarm key is. So that's what you need. You need your alarm key set. And uh, yeah, I got it right here. So I got a bunch of tools here. So yeah, so you need this alarm key set. They're not expensive. They're very cheap. So you got this alarm key set. And only thing you're going to be doing this, uh, you just, you're just going to have to try out to see which one fit in that. It's not like you have to worry about a name or number or something. So you pull out, for instance, we put this one. We know that it's too loose and it's the small. So we go to the next bigger one. And we put it inside. We see that now that's tight. So that means that this, this is what we have to do. So if you have a look on this, if you have a look on this, you can see that we have two set of rows, uh, uh, two rows of screws. So there's one row here, one row here. Since we're not taking this holder out, don't lose this one. You're going to have to lose this one to take this out. And uh, to lose that one is simple. You just go to this side. And then also one thing I'm going to say is, you know, once you're doing this, you know, uh, you, you can do it that way. Actually, you don't have a problem because since you're taking it, so you're just going to, it's another way you can lose this one a little bit just to pull this up so you can have a space to pull your screwdriver to lose something under. That if you're going to be changing something, which you don't want to take this out. But since we're going to be taking the whole thing out, I'm going to just go ahead and lose uh, the, the top one. So you pull your... Alarm key set in. That's it. And then you lose the, the top one. Y'all just got to bear with me because um, I'm using one hand for the video and using this. So you can see that it's not going too quick like I would have wanted to do. But So I'm just going to remove this very alarm key. The single one so that I can make, get a job done quicker. Because I don't want the videos to be long. Okay, so we just lose this one. You can see that it's moving already. So 
she lose that one. And when you're losing that, just be careful so you don't lose the, the alarm key vote because you'll be needing that to replace the new one. Because if you lose that, the new one that comes, they don't come with a with a boat. So just be very careful so you don't you don't lose them. And when you do that, just you know, losing them may be in a movie to see if that thing can move. As long as that thing can move, then you can take it up. So we see. So at the back of it. Uh, something just dropped. It might just drop inside this, but I'm going to find that. But what I'm going to say is, at the back of that, you got a small note. You got a small note at the back of that. So that note right there, that note right there, you see that note right there, you got to be sure that you don't lose it. So, I think mine just drop inside it, which I'm fine in a way. I don't need to worry about that now. I'm going to find it. If it's inside here, I'm just move the cables and I should be able to see. But if it's on the floor somewhere, because I heard it dropping on the floor, then I'm going to just find it on the floor and then put it back. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that later. I don't know it's not a problem. So let me go on with the video. So we lose the other one. And most of lose it, that one is coming as well. So we just pull it. Yeah. So now you can see the whole thing is out. So once you get the whole thing out, you just hold it like that and get a, uh, the one that is, I'm going to leave this there because since that, since that one is stuck there, I'm just going to focus the camera. Since that one is stuck, I'm going to leave that one there. So in case if I need to put it, I don't need to move that. And I'm going to look for the other one. So now that we got this out, this is the back. So now our next mission is, yeah, I'm gonna get this one. Just put them here as well. Just put them here to be sure that I don't lose them. So you got a, a small uh, star screws here. So all you're gonna do next is get a get a, a, a screwdriver, star screwdriver, and then it's gonna be very difficult now because I need a other hand. If you all can see. So I'm gonna open that three screws. That's all you need. You're gonna be opening all that three. So right now, you know, um, because I need my second, so I'm gonna put a camera here on me so you all can see what I'm doing at the same time. And then um Okay. If I put a camera like this, if you all can see that'll be great. So I can just, you know lose that and once i finish losing that i'm gonna show you all in a way you know uh the next thing that happened all right so now that i got my both hands back uh my school driver is here so, so i'm just picking and come back so all that we're doing is uh the boat i showed the school drivers uh the screws i show at the back that's what we're taking now so we're going to be taking this Okay, so we got one out, and this screwdrivers are uh, the screws are quite very small. So put them on something with a colored background so you can see them if you need to find them and don't lose them because you need them to put them back so that way they are watertight. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna just show you all before I go on with the next step. So, so this is our, this is the next step. So now I'm gonna say something. Since this is a new one, and you can see that we got a four screws there, and we got a border. So if it happen, this is the one that we're trying to lose. This one right here. So if it happen to uh, lose 
the both at the back there, maybe like the weather might fall. If I don't find it, you can just take one from here and away to replace on that because um you're not gonna this you're gonna be you're gonna be keeping part of this as pair anyway. So whichever you don't need to use right now, you can just use it on that one. And then that way, if you find it the one later, you can put it back. So now that this is open, this is how it is. So you open that and you pull this plastic cover out. So you put this plastic cover, just put it where you put your blast screw. So, you know, so inside you have something that look like this. Let me just focus that you, you got something that look like this. So you're going to have to bring this out. It's just a cable. Bring this out. And what you're going to have to do, is you're going to have to separate this. So if I bring this out, I really need second hand for this video, like, you know, but I'm just doing it alone. So I don't know, but all I'm going to do is I think I'm going to have to put a camera down again to show you. So you're going to have to bring this out from the. Okay, so I'm going to put a camera back again and bring that out. And then again, show you all. Okay, so I'm going to bring this one out now. That's what I'm trying to do. So now that this is out, I don't know if y'all can see from there, but I'm going to come again with a camera to show y'all what I'm doing because I want y'all to get every detail. So that way you follow the same procedure to do your thing. So that's the cable that was sitting in. So I pull it out and so it's like this. So if you look at this, one side of the cable from here is this side that's connected to this. So once you unclip this, that means that you can remove the whole of this unit and put it down. And then the new one also just unclip the other side and then clip this side back into this. And then you should uh, get your scooter going. That's if there's no damage on the actual cable that goes in. But if you got any damage on the cable or something, or maybe after replacing the new one with this cable, you're still having the same problem. Then it might be worth, you know, replacing the whole cable. So the only thing you're going to have to do then is to pull this, the new, the new set of this one back into the new uh, cable and remove the whole cable by going into the actual uh, under the deck of your controller. So I've opened my feet on it. Then you're going to have to open yours to trace this cable, which is a five pin inside with the colors and this connector. Pull them out from the actual thing. And then put a new one in. But since I know that I don't know if I'm gonna be having problem, I'm gonna just do this to see if I can I can do that with one hand. It look like it's coming. Okay. So I leave this up, then I pull from here. Now I need my second hand. So again, I'm gonna put a camera here. Okay, so if you all can see. If y'all can see them, so this one we do, this one I want to do, but I don't have, you know, I need my two ones. So you just unclip this thing on the top, hold it and pull it. So now this side is separate. So now if y'all can see, this side is now separate. So this is your actual throat body. And what happened is, you know, sometimes... They got all sort of like, I don't know if y'all can see, you got IC, capacitors, you know, transistors and all that. So if this got really bad, then that means, you know, uh, that's what you might be having the problem of that. So what I'm going to do next is um, I'm going to be putting my camera somewhere here that I can do that so y'all can see well. So um, if I put a camera here again. Right, so I think you all can see from the so what you're gonna do next is you bring the new one. This is a new one, and we need a screwdriver. So you bring the new one, and since you put in a new one, so I'ma just say, you know what, I'ma keep the new one together and put the old one or the black the, the black panel or the black things from the old one back on the old one. So I'm I'm gonna be using my new one. So the first thing you do with the new one is you wanna separate the holder from this because we don't need a holder we already got a holder on that so again you find your alarm key and you go in there and to separate that from the holder you need the two top one here so just go like that
can just see if your hand can turn it and just hold the, the both under so they're not turning together otherwise you can't be there for a whole time so um that's the board the board is still there so i'm gonna put this here and go with this second one right so now we separate the, the holder from the actual thing so we can pull that safely somewhere with the border so the next thing is we're going to be losing the four star screws under there so the first screws and now we pull this somewhere where you can see because they're very small and very very black so if you put them on a, a very you know messy area with some uh, black background you might not see them when you need to pick them you might spend time looking for them so just put them uh, on a white paper or something or on a bright area so that you don't lose them okay so the model that i got is written here i don't know it's not the original model but i think my way with this is it's saying 60 volt 2020 z z2 so that means that is manufactured in 2020 z2 which is the uh, uh, uh it, it, it might be it might not the same like the one that i have but it might have the same electrical layout so i think it should be all right the only thing is maybe if it's not giving me the, the same speed that i used to get on that which i doubt it because the controller does that so again to separate this you just clip this one the top one just push it down and pull it and that should go so now because we're not changing the cable so we don't need a cable so what you're gonna have to do next is you take this side and the same way you clip it to this one so the pin gotta go in so you clip it this one yeah it's clipped now so when you've done that because we we're trying to diagnose to see which three of the suspects are the problem so now that we pull this new one what you're gonna have to do is i'm gonna just put it on from here first so you put it on and this one is showing blue it's got a blue background and i'm actually happy now because uh let me see if it's gonna show me the same yeah so you see it's not showing me anything on the audio meter because i haven't read this so now we can see that the suspect is not this which i'm happy because i don't want to be using this now i want to keep this you know for something i actually like the blue background you know compared with the green one but you know what the old one served me well and they still got all my uh, actual audiometer reading. So I don't want to lose that. So I can see how much I've written on this scooter before the scooter actually may be broken and winding. So we can see the same problem we have before. We're having the same problem. So now we know it's not a controller and it's not the accelerator. So it's definitely going to be this. And the reason why you don't want to change this first, because if you want to change this, you're going to open the deck. And mostly, most of these problems are associated with controllers. When your scooter just, you know, break down with all these, you know, things coming out, they always the controller. So it might be worth first doing the controller. If the controller is done, then you see how the problem. Then the next one will be easier changing this because this, you see, it's just a few steps. Then you change it, so you do this one. And if you still have the problem, then this one is tail light. You're going to be losing the, the support and you're going to be losing that. And you trace the line all the way in. You're going to disconnect it from there and put a, the next one the way it is. So when you're doing that, I got a tail light also because I know it might be true. So I got a new tail light with this pin. So when you're doing it, you make sure that if you pull red pin from where it's connected, you connect the red pin. If you pull, do it like that so you don't get yourself confused. If you pull all the pin out and you don't know where they go, then you might be plucking something somewhere is not meant to be. You might end up blowing the light, blowing your controller, blowing something else. So do it one by one. Take the red one out 
make sure you put it back to where you remove it to the green one you do it like that then when you finish so when you're gonna do that you're gonna play this on the deck somewhere even if you don't secure it just put this bit through this hole here pull it all the way in and then do what i said about changing that and when you finish that you should get your scooter back uh right in so um i don't want to keep this uh video long i just want to show you all some few steps about what i've been doing my scooter or when your scooter breaks down in the circumstance like the way this one is that's the way you're going to be facing it so now i'm happy that i know it's not the throttle because the throttle usually if you fall down your scooter you might end up breaking it and they are quite like you know very good to look after so you don't lose it so now that i know my old one is working i'm happy i'm gonna put the old one back and keep the new one safe as my spare in the future so if i fall down on something i'm gonna just use that so thanks to you all for watching my videos again and if you're new to my channel this is a very educative channel where i teach about scooter give advice like us like you see in this video so you're at the right place and also subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my vi future videos and also like my videos so that way they encourage me to make more videos so till i make another video of either fixing the tail light which i'm not going to do now because now i'm going somewhere so if i finish uh that and it's going to be the tail light i'm going to make a video again to show you how to change the tail light and then we should be able to get this scooter running so thanks you all for watching my video again and take care of yourself and all the time at the beginning or at the end of my video in these difficult times i always remind you all to look after yourself in this coronavirus time Take all that advice seriously. Don't think that because maybe you might be healthy. Maybe because you think you're young, like they say all the time. When this thing started, they said all in old people and people who have like the issues might be dying. But not everyone is dying, so you don't even know. So don't think that because they said that so you're gonna be going out, you know, without taking precautions. It might not be you, but you might just infect an elderly old lady who probably just been sitting at home all the time, but just came out to buy something. You might just infect her person and kill that person it might be a child or something it might it might just be a human being so please y'all take care of yourself respect all the health guidance and look after yourself well and i'm out now to my next video bye